Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about a very important issue, which is of drug abuse in Pakistan. As you know that uh, drugs are considered pretty much dangerous, not only for the health, but also for the behavioral aspects of the individual. And it is not merely affecting the individual who is consuming those drugs. It is affecting his or her surroundings as well. It is affecting his or her family members as well, both economically as well as emotionally. So let's see that what are the statistics of drug abuse in Pakistan and what kind of problems do we face because of that. So around 4.77 million people use drugs in Pakistan. So these are the huge statistics. And almost 1 million people are addicts of heroin, which is considered very dangerous uh, drug in Pakistan. And 40,000 people add up to the pool of drugs, drug users annually. Majority of drug users are between the age of 25 and 39 years. So these are the most productive uh, years of any individual. So if someone in these years become an addict, it means that his or her productive years of life are lost. So here is the glimpse of the drug addict community that you see that they are usually gathered around uh, in order to take part in this uh, drug consumption activity. So before we go further, let us first define that what do we call the drug abuse, whether it's a drug consumption or it's a drug intake, uh, and why it is considered an abuse. So drug abuse refers to the use of certain chemicals for the purpose of creating pleasurable effects on the brain. Uh, there are 190 million drug users around the world. So this madness is rising, especially among the young adults who are under the age of 30. So uh, these uh, chemical reactions are actually uh, producing some consequences not only on the health but also on the functioning of your brain. So here you see a, a reflection of one of the methods of drug intake which is by using uh, uh, injections. So there are uh, fewer kinds of drug uh, abuse categories or categories of drugs. Uh, one of them is the depressants. These cause the depression uh, for the brain's faculties. When we consume these uh, drugs, our brain ceases to function properly. And such drugs include sleeping pills and heroin, uh, etc. So here is the uh, reflection of these depressants. And then we have the stimulants. These cause the stimulation of the brain, giving rise to the alternates and an increased burst of activities. So the consequences of stimulants include the raising of blood pressure, nausea or vomiting, and certain behavioral changes, one of them can cause a lot of aggression in the individual who is consuming the drugs. And also uh, we have the uh, hallucinogens. These drugs cause hallucinations and an out-of-the-world feeling uh, as, uh, means disassociation from one's own personality. Uh, some uh, when you consume these drugs, you do not feel yourself; rather, you feel someone out of the world. So, 
hallucinogens cause distorted sensory perception, delusion and paranoia. So these um, drugs uh, can have a lot of consequences on not only on the health of the individual but on the social life as well.